All right, loaded some ammo this week. Uh, both of them supposed to be running 1,800 feet per second. I've loaded one with hydrogen little gun, and I loaded a uh, accurate 1680, 150 grain. Uh, see, uh, full metal jacket boat tails, good little planking rounds for your 300 blackout. Uh, the little gun, I used 15.7 grains. Supposed to be 1,800 feet per second. The uh, accurate 1680, I used 19 grains. And it's supposed to be 1,800 feet per second. <clears throat> now what I want to see is, should be the same feet per second. So what I want to see is the impact difference. Got two targets, one on the left, one on the right. We'll go little gun first on the left. I'll shoot the center, center of the orange dot. And then we'll go accurate 1680, center of the orange dot on the right target. And uh, what I want to see is impact difference, if there's any. And also I want to see uh, if I can get by with this little gun because I like this accurate 1680 for my 208 subs. That's why I'm trying to save my accurate 1680. So I'll have more for my 208 grain subs. Here's a look at the projectile. 150 grain. Alright, we got a little gun on the left, holding the center. Alright, here we go, accurate 1680, holding the center of the orange man dot. Well, they were swinging while I shot, but looks like about the same results. Well, pretty much the same results out of little gun, hydrogen little gun. Is the accurate 1680. Uh, don't have a chronograph. Don't. It's just going off the Hornady's load book. So. I'm kind of happy with the results. They were swinging, so uh, shots weren't perfect, but that's a three inch circle, that's a three inch circle, they're all in there. Uh, anyway, take what you want from this video. Like, subscribe, share. Appreciate you guys.